Hi everyone, my name's Christine and I'm one of the founders and admins from PSSM and MFM Awareness. And today we're going to be talking all about the P4 variant of PSSM2. We're going to be explaining what the P4 variant is, what the P4 variant affects, what the function of the gene associated with the P4 variant is, and explaining how a positive P4 result is interpreted. Let's begin. So what exactly is P4? P4 is one of the variants of a group of hereditary muscle diseases known as PSSM2. P4 is a variant of myofibrillar myopathy. What is myofibrillar myopathy? Myofibrillar myopathy, or MFM, is a degenerative hereditary muscle disease caused by a mutation in muscle proteins. Myofibrillar myopathy affects skeletal muscle and in some cases cardiac muscle. It causes muscle weakness, loss of muscle mass and in cases where cardiac muscle is also affected, respiratory problems. Although there is no current evidence to show PSSM2 causes respiratory problems in horses, there are a number of PSSM2 horses with respiratory issues. What does the P4 variant affect? The P4 variant affects something called myozenin-3. What is myozenin? Myozenin is a structural protein that's encoded as a myoz gene. It is present in cardiac and slow twitch skeletal muscle. Myozenin also plays a vital role in calcineurin signaling. What is the function of myozenin? Myozenin works with vitamin C, what is affected in P3, and myotillin, what is affected in P2, by binding muscle cells that are involved in linking Z-disc-like proteins in both cardiac and slow-twitch skeletal muscle. So like cement, it helps keep everything in place. But this is not the only function of myozenin. Myozenin also signals to something called calcineurin. Calcineurin is a protein that is calcium and phosphatase dependent. Calcineurin activates T cells in the immune system. T cells play the critical role of immune response. T cells also kill off infected host cells that are carrying illness or infection. Without T cells responding, the immune system would be compromised or weakened. Myozenin signals to calcineurin like a 999 call, which then alerts T cells like a siren. What happens when there is a gene mutation in myozenin-3? When a genetic mutation occurs in myozenin-3, the mutated myozenin clusters together causing clumps, also known as aggregates. These clumps prevent the proteins in muscles functioning normally because myozenin also plays a role in calcineurin signaling. This also means that immune response to illness or infection will be slowed and thus compromised. Because of the multifunction of myozenin, it makes P4 one of the more difficult variants to manage. How does having a gene mutation in myozenin-3 cause a horse to be symptomatic? Let's look at this in an easy way. Having mutations in myozenin-3 is like building a house with no cement. You can still build it, but at some point in time the house will crumple and fall to the ground. This is what happens in PSSM2 horses. The mutation in that one gene affects the rest of the muscle structure. It might work for a little while, but it is weakened. And as PSSM2 is degenerative, as time goes on, more clumps occur and a muscle structure Will become weaker and weaker, leading a horse to eventually become symptomatic. Why are horses affected by P4 at different ages? Because every horse's body is different. Some horses are stronger, some horses are weaker, some horses are more mature, while others are more immature. Some horses are able to withstand pain and even grow accustomed to it, and some horses simply can't take the slightest ounce of pain and will let you know when something is wrong. Every single horse is an individual and different, just like us. How do I find out if my horse has P4? By doing the PSSM2 hair strand test that covers the P4 variant. The PSSM2 hair strand test costs around £250 and is available through Equisec, the USA owners, and CAG for the UK, Europe and the rest of the world. How do I interpret the P4 result? If your horse comes back P4, P4, this means the horse is affected with PSSM2 and they are homozygous for the mutation in the P4 gene. Horses who are homozygous for P4 are usually more severely affected. If a homozygous horse is bred from, 
they will 100% pass on the gene. If your horse comes back MP4, this means the horse is affected with PSSM2 and they are heterozygous for the mutation in the P4 gene. If a heterozygous horse is bred from, they have a 50% chance of passing on the gene. If your horse comes back NN, this means the horse is not affected with PSSM2 associated with the mutations in myozenin 3 P4. If a non-affected P4 horse is bred from, they will not pass on the P4 gene. And that concludes our video on the P4 variant explained. We hope you found this video helpful and that you now have more of an understanding on what the P4 variant of PSSM2 is. Our next video will cover the PX variant of PSSM2 to help you understand PSSM2 even further. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, join our Facebook group, follow us on Instagram and check out our website for all things PSSM, MFM and Ruhr. Thank you for watching.